Hi there, Release Fight here. So I'm going to walk you through how to beat the beast that is Abzu in this boss fight in Final Fantasy VII Remake. Like I said, he's a bit of a beast, but as it turns out, he's more of a pussycat if you know exactly how to beat him. And I'm going to walk you through how I did that. Hopefully the video is going to help you out. If it does, drop me a like below. But it all starts with your materia setup, and this is going to be the way that you take him down fast. So Cloud's your main guy and you want him to have fire materia and hopefully he's leveled that up to Fira by this stage. And then I've also got in MP up materia so that I've got more magic to be able to cast and then elemental material which gives my weapon a little bit of fire damage as well. Then another MP up in my bottom slot and then for my last one I've gone with magic up materia which makes Cloud an absolute beast for fire damage especially if you've got Ifrit in as your, uh, as your summons. And then for Tifa, I've got more fire damage with fire materia in as the first slot. And then for the second slot, I've got a little bit of revival materia, which, uh, which I kind of didn't need. But if you do need it, then it's there. A bit of cleansing materia is something you could throw in if you want to get rid of any status ailments that you get. I think there's like poison from, uh, from Abzu. And then I threw in refocus materia. But again, I didn't use that. And then finally for Aerith I had Auto Cure and Healing and then I changed Ice Materia for Binding Materia which helped me to put Abzu to sleep every now and again. And then I also threw in a little bit of Barrier Materia which I used to help to keep Cloud in the fight a little bit better. So I've got a good combination of added defense, healing and then huge huge fire attacks from Cloud himself. So as soon as the fight starts, what you want to do is get in, do some hits, roll on out. And what you're trying to do is build up your ATB, obviously, and then you want to unleash Fira on one of those horns. And then it's just the case of repeating that a few times until you do some huge, huge damage. But with Clouds, you definitely want to keep him in the fight because he's like the main person you're going to use in this fight. So it's a good idea to hit him up with cures any time you see his health. A little bit like anywhere near the 50% mark, especially when Abzu goes up on the wall and you've got Cloud as your main character because Abzu is essentially going to jump on down and he's going to bind Cloud up and do a lot of damage. But if you hit him up with a cure just before that and you give him a barrier like I did, then you can reduce the amount of damage that he takes so that he just stays in the fight a little bit longer. And then obviously you switch out to one of the other characters, get him released. And then if you've got the poison status ailment, then you can use an antidote to take that out of the equation. And then you're back to getting in the attacks using Fira on the horns. And as you can see, that pressurizes him and he starts to like, he doesn't do a full stagger, but he does this mini stagger where you can get in a hell of a lot of hits and then obviously cycle through all of your party's moves to be able to increase the amount of pressure that you put in on him. So for Cloud, that was the focus thrust. And then for Tifa, I went with the dive kick. And the idea is that I'm trying to get it to full stagger as quickly as possible. It's a beast and it takes a while, but by following this process, you should be able to get it to stagger sooner rather than later. And then again, get in a few hits, build up an ATB, hit us up with yet another focus thrust, and then use a barrier to be able to add even more strength to, uh, to Cloud. And you'll see that you'll slowly but surely get Abzu to a full stagger. Now you can obviously use more Fira if you wanted to, but that does mean you use more MP, and it does mean that you might need to use a few ethers to be able to uh, keep that process going forward, which is why I was trying to mix it up with some focus slashes and some fear combined, which allows you to kind of like stay in that process a little bit better without necessarily losing too much. And as you can see here, it's very close to getting onto the stagger. So again, another focus thrust. And then it does this kind of like pre-stagger stagger thing again. And this time I can hit it up with another focus thrust and throw in a barrier for Cloud, and that means I should have quite a long time of being able to just do a hell of a lot of damage to him. And as soon as you get, as soon as you get an ATB when it's down, you definitely want as much fire damage as possible. So use your spells, take fire up to Fira if you've got it, 
and hit Abzu with everything you've got. Now I did have a limit breaker there if I wanted to, but I chose to change it for fire because I know it does so much damage. And then all the way through this little phase where it's staggered and on the ground, you want to keep an eye on the ATBs on the bottom right hand corner for all of the guys in your team and then choose the ability that you think is going to do the most damage. However, when it gets 50%, it's going to move into the second phase. So don't use too many of your big limit breakers because you're probably going to tip it over the edge anyway. So you can save those for a little bit later on. However, the thing to focus on at this point is getting Cloud into the corner as far away from the pipes that are going to slush out with this black water blast, which you should be able to see in a little second. You can also use this phase to be able to give yourself any buffs that you need, whether it's a little bit of potion or a cure. But then as soon as it comes back down to the ground, you can get in and start to do your damage. So again, hitting up Fira. As he's bounding past, you should be able to get him when he's in the corner. Now, as soon as you see anybody else with an ATB, so there I can see Aerith's got one. So then I want to use Barrier on Cloud once again because he's the main person. So essentially, it's a process of giving Cloud as much strength as possible, using Fira to bring down this beast and just to keep the pressure on. And then at this stage, it's a good idea to use Ifrit as your summons because obviously he's got fire damage to add even more to this final phase of the battle. So you'll be able to use his, uh, his summons abilities as well as Fira, which kind of mixes things up and helps them manage your MP. It also adds an extra character into the mix and a little bit of confusion for Abzu, which you can see gives you way more time to get in, build up your ATB and get on out. And again, using one of those summons abilities does a huge amount of damage and you can just keep on smashing away at Abzu with a hell of a lot of space and time and use your biggest attacks. In this case, I wanted to try to increase the stagger, so using the focus thrusts again, and then for, uh, for Aerith, just using a little bit of soul drain. You can see it's doing that kind of pre-stagger, staggering around business. Uh, so again, I had loads of space and time to be able to get in my hits and just keep on smashing it up with the focus thrust. And it's very close to getting into another full stagger where I should be able to finish it off. Now here you can see I got bound once again as Cloud. And this was probably one of the clutch moments in this fight. But at this stage, I was able to use the summon's ability as Aerith to be able to free him. And then it's just a case of using the rest of the guys in my party to heal Cloud and keep on building up the pressure. Whenever you see it bounding around the place, this is a good opportunity just to get it with a bit of fear if you can get out of its way or if you get hit by the first one and then you manage to get out of the way of the second ones and then it's just a case of rounding it, staying away from its wind attack and trying to get yourself in a good position. And the other benefit of having Ifrit is that it does a huge amount of damage with its final move. And that is how I managed to beat Abzu in Final Fantasy VII Remake. It was a great boss fight made all the sweeter by having the right kind of setup. Hopefully the video helps you out. If it does, drop me a like below. You can also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already with the links on the left hand side. And check out the rest of my guide for Final Fantasy VII Remake with the links on the right hand side. Leave any comments, let me know how you get on in this boss fight and I will catch you next time.